Welcome back. This is part 12 of Catherine the Golden Playhouse. In the last episode, we took on Doom's Bride. And in this episode, hopefully the recording comes out. Anyway, Catherine isn't cheating on you. Why are you even doubting her? Um, let's see. I believe in her. Who knows what's actually happening? Thank you. I don't even know. You're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but... Then why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating, and you think she's cheating, then that's the logical choice. <sighs> Dude, don't just sit there getting angry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. What do you have to say, Orlando? She talks the big talk now, but Erica had a lot of problems back in the day. Remember that time she was hurt by a relationship and disappeared? Huh? huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. Yesterday, I told my mom about Eric. <laughs> Did you? Huh? Super hype. What? <clears throat> yeah, I found the one. Um, you don't say. Well, uh, don't go overboard. Sure thing. It's pretty interesting how they capitalize one uh, when Toby said he found the one. They capitalize it, which I guess draws some attention to it, but. Looks so good. Todd, my boss, he's dead. Oh, he wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't remember, but I, I see them. I knew it. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. D don't worry about it. D they're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He's such a good guy. Well, that's a bummer. Let's check our phone. I think that should be about the... No, it's about the Midnight Venus. Yeah, we completed stage 5, the quadrangle. <clears throat> well, Justin is here. Boss. What else do you have to say, Archie? Nothing. More messages. Some good medicine. Ooh, a picture. We'll save that for later. Here's something that'll make you feel better. Is it working? Yeah, 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 whatever. Um, anybody else come? Oh, that rich dude came. So Todd, I do believe that was the guy with the flipped up haircut, um, so he died. Let's actually check the TV, maybe he's on it. So there goes the perfect run for this game. The way it works, I think it mentions it very, very briefly um, early on, in a vague way. You have to talk to these guys here around the bar to keep their spirits up. And as you meet them, you know, they're having their problems and you help them work their way through them. So when you don't, things like this happen. So hopefully we won't have anyone else die the rest of the game. Oh sure, you're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. What's done's done. What? Done. Yeah, I can't bring her back. Have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. Another news, uh, brother. Text message, all right. Um, I will get back to you, girl, in a second. See what what's up with these guys. What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. You're awful kind of Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? 
I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're going to get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. Huh. Um, is that what you really want? <sighs> this isn't about what we want or don't want. Somebody just left. Um, oh, I guess Archie left and Morgan. <coughs> Morgan, the police officer, came back. What do you have to say, guy? I've been waiting for you. Did you know Todd? He was a regular here. Yeah, the, the department manager, right? Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious, shriveled up way that all those other men have died. Died? This morning? He had a potty mouth and was a playboy. But he was good at looking after people. Was a fine man. Yeah. Do you believe in the afterlife? Um, let's see. If I have to choose, yes. No. Oh, what would skew me more towards the red? I say no. Um. I'll say no. There we go. Oh, really? If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. Kill him with my own hands. <clears throat> my wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. You water. got mail. Not even getting a buzz. Peace Vasa from Grand Theft Auto 4, maybe? Who knows? Um, who else is leaving? Oh, the old ladies left. Oh well. Um, something I want to mention, which I haven't really brought up yet. The meter that we see on the bottom right hand of the screen. It turns out that that is not um, good or evil, as you might first presume. It's actually order and freedom, which if you've played this game, you're well aware of the various endings, or the possibility for various endings. Oh, let's go with Lost Land. But, uh, yeah, so it's not really good and evil, as you might think. Therefore, the choices, uh, you know, aren't looking for good or evil answers, more so what will skew you more towards freedom, the red, or order, the blue. So keep that in mind as we go forward. That kind of helps me ch make my choices based on the or or the ending we want to get. It always looks like that. Did something happen? Uh, I don't know. You want me to ask? No, never mind. Probably just me. Yeah, let's see. We'll get back to our friends in a second. Yeah, none of them really tell us where they've been all the past night either. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. Excuse me. More text message? All right, we're going to go check those first because this is annoying. course wash our face as tradition would have it huh? that looked like another baby but you know who knows oh, I'll get you next time, lamb. no you won't tonight's stage is the clock tower quit wasting your time and come on over what the all right heading here and on the toilet as per usual uh, actually, let me check the awards. Uh, clock Tower, Clock Tower. Clock Tower, I got a silver on last time. Alright, so hopefully we will, uh... Wait, go back in there. Hopefully we can best that in the next episode. Let's see. Um, the Mysterious Meter. Hey, that's actually perfect timing. Have you noticed the meter appears when you need to make a choice? Yeah, you introduced that to me, like, very, very beginning of the game. Alright, so let's go back here. Some good medicine. We have a wonderful image. Rather dominatrixy. There you go. And then let's reply. Uh, I told you already. You can't keep doing. Nope. This is crossing the line. No. <laughs> That's funny. 
Did you dress up just to take this? No. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, whatever, see ya. Nah. Mm. Wait, where are the other... Anything else? Okay, we'll go with that. And we'll go with that. Uh, send. There we go. We are as far left as possible into the uh, freedom meter, so to speak. Is it true that you have a tummy ache? You're not lying to me. Well, let's lie some more. I'm not lying. I've been really tired lately. Come on, cheer up. We don't have to see each other every day. Bye. Okay. There we go. Poor Catherine, did something happen? I'm imagining things. Oh yeah, I'm meeting with a friend tomorrow, so if you want to call me, do in the afternoon. Mm. Uh, sorry, it's nothing. No. Maybe it's because I'm drunk. Yeah, that'll, that'll always make it better. Nah. <sighs> what? Maybe I shouldn't have responded to that at all. Oh well, there's plenty of time to regain our meter. I feel like I'm playing Street Fighter, building all this meter. Alright, let's, uh, anybody else here? I think we've talked to, yeah, everyone's pretty much done, so let's talk to this guy, these guys. Of course you do. Let's talk about Toby while he's gone, guys. Hey, how's Toby doing at work? He's fine. I can trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. You should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica? You're so good to the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. And he's back. Alright, let's talk to Johnny, see if we can get some information out of him. No, let's first check our phone, because... Wait, oh, I have to check these. Did I even reply to these? I, I completely forgot about that message. It will do that. This should actually... Help. I'll tell you more later. Um, I need to think some more before I do, though. Hopefully that... Why is that pushing me backwards? I should not have responded to that either. Alright, let's check all these messages. That's one thing I hate in real life, too. I hate having the little message icon on my phone. Like, that really ticks me off. Alright. Is it? Is it gone? Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Great. Now we can talk to Johnny. My head hurts. Maybe I've been playing too much Rapunzel. Hey, I got the top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, I got pretty far. You guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? Hey, that's me. After I got the hang of it, it's just so addictive. You're the kind of guy who won't give up till you beat it, huh? Well, isn't everyone like that? I never give up. I always quit in the middle. I never give up. Why? Life one step at a time until you started dating Catherine, didn't you? Uh, shut up already. I think it's about time I left. Deuces, man. All right. See you later, Justin. <sighs> Sleepies. I think it's time to go home. Uh, uh, anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Vincent, I'm going home. Be careful. We haven't drank yet, so we gotta gotta finish our glass. All right, so we have Erica. We're gonna actually check our messages in. Catherine, oh, I just want to be with you, Vincent. That's all. But you say these things don't make any sense to me. It worries me. Do you think I'm the bad guy here? I didn't say you're the bad guy. I'm only trying to make sure. I didn't say you were the bad guy. Let's go with that. No. Um. What are the other choices here? In fact, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. That's perfect. Come on, don't... <laughs> That's actually perfect. So that's that. See ya. Yeah. That should boost us back left. Yeah, that's perfect. That recouped a lot of our... A lot of losses this night. Alright, let's take a sip of this drink. The uh, accompanying voice of Jameson Pierce. Oh, you can't drink away this worry. But I can try. You know the drill. Come into the dream. Did I, did I just hear something? What day is it? Is it April fifth? Yeah, it's April fifth. I'm really, really, really tempted to uh, play 
the God. nightmare stage right in line, like the whole video, but I think I'll save it the way I'm, I've been doing it. One night, one, uh, one or two nightmares. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. But first, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances should not attempt this. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Fantastic. Empty? Uh, what do we get Eric, next time? We should get... You want something else? It's getting pretty... Uh, let's go with beer. We'll just go beer. with some beer. You got it. I don't know if I got all the achievements um, Here it is. just yet for all the alcohol trivia. I'm pretty sure I did because I've played this game like two or three times. So I should have had all the achievements for that, at least the drinking oh. achievements, but I'm not too sure. Is she actually be cheating on me? can honestly say there's no possibility. Ooh, I'm covering up my own infidelity. I don't have the right to suspect her. Something else I really wanted to mention before I forget. I think I said in one of the earlier parts that the lip syncing, um, it, it didn't match up when the guy was talking and drinking and it was a mess right there. It actually turns out this voice, uh, the voices were, or the lips were dubbed to the voices. Um, so from the Japanese version to the original version, or this version, the English version, they did change the lips, but I think the animations are still kind of wonky at times, so. But here's some trivia about beer, now that you've emptied your mug. You've heard of beer belly, but did you know that beer itself doesn't make you fat? Beer is relatively low in calories and makes you urinate more, so the calories don't build up. Yet since sugar is required to break down alcohol and beer foam makes you hungrier, when these things combine, you get the munchies, and voila, beer belly. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. There you have it. That's also why a lot of bars have, like, peanuts and whatnot. Well, I guess that's you not why, but drink? bars do have peanuts at their little no, bar fine. thingies. For those people who have the munchies, let's go talk to Erica before we end the night. Can we get up? There we go. Actually, I'll, ch I'll check the ATM on the way out in the next episode. And when it comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man, but Erica just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway. As I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. You, Johnny, and Orlando have all made women cry. Oh, well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando too, but not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? True that. Can we finish so off with Erica? You really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. I'd be more convinced if a woman was telling me this. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. Yeah, that's a little uh, clue into Erica's backstory there, but thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we will take on, I guess, the sixth nightmare, the clock tower. We'll check out his ATM 
bank statement too. Uh, but once again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next Saturday.